Historically, the success of the litigation finance industry has hinged on the incredible wit of litigation financers. However, chief financial officers are also deserving of some credit. 500 chief financial officers and other finance professionals were surveyed throughout the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom for a new report conducted by Burford Capital. This report showed that over 65% of those surveyed were, very likely, to utilize litigation finance within the next two years. Further, the survey also showed that out of this 65%, 57.9% of respondents expected to utilize litigation finance within the year. This is a mark sign that litigation finance is not being thought of as tool to take on Goliath anymore. David Perla, a chief financial officer of a large corporation states, see, contrary to the rational mind, the bigger the business, the more their chief financial officer values the benefits that using litigation finance can bring. 75% of respondents admitted that their companies have multiple unenforced judgments that are value at over $10 million. Of this 75%, 50% stated that their company have chosen to leave their judgments unenforced to minimize their legal expenditures. From these findings, it is easy to see how litigation finance can assist these companies with their bottom line. Litigation finance involves a financer investing their resources into a claim in exchange for a share of any return. By utilizing litigation finance, a company would no longer need to finance their own legal fees, thus allowing themselves to have the opportunity to enforce judgments that they have acquiesced on. The awareness shown by these chief financial officers and other financial professionals only serves to justify the utilization of litigation finance. This tool can unlock the true value of a company's assets and allow them to further their bottom line.